Our goal is to contribute to the ongoing discussion about the impact of environmental and sustainable operations management on businesses. To assist professionals in implementing long-term incentive strategies, we are developing a theoretical framework. Our PowerPoint presentations draw upon an analysis of recent publications covering various topics, including the best practices for client care in sustainable management. We may better attain sustainable business practices by thoroughly grasping the core ideas and techniques of catering to clients, like determining their specific desires. Colleagues and customers alike require a solid foundation of relationship building practices. Effective client care involves managing the entire process, including addressing complaints, collecting and analyzing data, and identifying client needs. You can cite instances of client care practices that are used in your area of expertise. Recognizing both current and potential customers is essential. It's important to note that active management is required to provide excellent client care to existing customers. Recognizing how the structure of different sectors influences the client's personality, goals, and interests is crucial. It is essential to apply the concept and practice of client care in your area of expertise and consider various client types. Additionally, it is important to explain proper professional behavior, taking into account the RICS's ethics principles and relevant laws. Organizations may want to share their personal views on attributes such as clear mandates, communication, reasonable expectations, fast delivery, and high-quality outputs. In determining what qualities characterize a satisfying client-provider relationship, it is important to consider the methods and controls available for handling complaints, as well as the client care processes. Project client care involves maintaining open lines of communication with clients regarding the team's outputs and participation in the project. Client account management, CAM, is a systematic approach to account management that ensures communication at all seniority levels and tracks changes within the client's business. Regular communication outside of projects is also important to determine how to assist with longer-term client business objectives. To obtain and act upon customer input, project reviews, unofficial feedback, and supervised client satisfaction surveys are all viable methods. Client business development involves planning offline business development activities and events to build stronger relationships with clients. Project client care involves creating multiple channels for clients to voice their complaints and specifying procedures for handling them. Effective communication between the team and the clients is also crucial. Referring to the RICS's Code of Ethics and Acceptable Conduct is recommended, especially when clients formally file complaints. The responsibility of compiling, analyzing, and specifying customer needs falls under client data management. Job planning is an internal process that considers meeting the client's expectations, including specific deliverables and overall input. It also involves commission management and pricing. By highlighting the importance of the breathing process and defining a clear scope of work for the team, it will be possible to align the expectations of all parties involved. As part of ongoing client management, a procedure has been created to document any changes to the project and client requirements. To illustrate potential challenges, we can consider the case of a cost consultant who is handling multiple development projects simultaneously. It is important to identify the primary client and any other stakeholders who require information or outputs, both within the professional team and externally. 
By outlining this information and establishing effective communication channels, we can ensure that all parties are informed and involved in the project's progress. This will ultimately lead to more successful outcomes and satisfied clients. How was the candidate able to efficiently handle customer service while preserving a good rapport with customers? This includes understanding the customer's needs and objectives, as well as the industry they operate in and how they are perceived by others. Additionally, it involves explaining how the company gathers client feedback throughout the project's development process. For instance, the methods used by project managers to obtain input from team members, the types of customer satisfaction surveys conducted, and how the results are disseminated. A brief overview of the company's approach to managing complaints should also be discussed, including the process used to identify issues and implement internal corrective measures. The core values of client care can vary depending on the organization and industry, but there are certain values that are commonly seen across different sectors. These values include Effective communication, empathy, professionalism, responsiveness, quality, and accountability. In conclusion, we will continue to host in the future, and if you have any questions, please get in touch with us at purchase at consumer-trading.org.uk or by phone at plus 442077402160.